scary. Dear Jenna, I can't even remember that story about the boys um, my cousin and I met at Bula Spa. The one I hugged is called Tumelo and he remembers me and the hug. And he smells good too. Yeah, well, we're now flirting on Facebook and we're going to meet up. I'm so excited. I wish I could take him to Masa with my friends, but it's too short notice. So, yeah. Bye-bye. So, it's so cute because I think my friend started, got a boyfriend that day. And he shared, like, my anniversaries and stuff. It was so cute. And then I'm like, after writing this, I came back and I'm like, dear journal again. <laughs> Timelo asked if I can be his girlfriend. Oh my god. And then I changed my Facebook password to his name. Oh my god. I was so in love. I was so in love. One thing about me, I was so in love. Okay. <laughs> Dear journal, my anniversary with Timelo is on the 17th of May. Same as my friend and her boyfriend. What a, what a coincidence. OMG, I got another PSA. <clears throat> I never thought I had the guts to do it. OMG, I'm meeting Tumela on Friday. Love you, babe. Bye bye. Period. <laughs> Dear Journal, the most embarrassing thing happened to me today. My dad, um, my cousin was with his friend. My dad was chasing me around the park with a belt and my boyfriend and his friend were laughing. It was so embarrassing. But I told my dad that the girl I was meeting went home and those guys and we started talking to them. And now I told Jonathan Jonathan that I have a problem and I want advice from him. Aish, why does this happen to me? So wait a minute. Oh oh I became friends with Jonathan after I got over his crush. After I got over my crush for him. Turns out I didn't get over my crush for him. But it was the whole Jonathan situation is just complicated mess and i think i'm about to unpack it soon the next entry is dear journal a lot happened since i last wrote on you first of all i broke up with Dumelo on the 23rd of june and i've been single since on the 8th of august 2014 i had a session at my house and it was just the girls we got blazed and everything got out of hand we called everybody we could think of and but jonathan came and they made everything better and the most amazing thing happened i kissed jonathan <laughs> one thing about me if i have a crush i'm gonna get it that's what i am that's my brand that's my brand dear journal so like my feelings for steve started coming back but in a way i still like jonathan so like and then i wrote about how the rainbow soccer team went to germany I'm so proud of them. Wow, this is such a cute thing to write. Oh, so wholesome shape. Wow. Two pages of the pain over in Doda. Two pages of me crying over in Doda. Uh, Satan was real busy doing his work in there. I wrote this on the 27th of September 2014. And I'm like, dear journal, my love life is a piece of crap. One thing about me. One thing about me. My love life will be a piece of crap. I have a crush on two guys. S what did I name him? Steve, the hot guy I know I have no chance with. And Jonathan, the guy I have had a crush on since orientation. Kissed him on the 8th of August and then he started acting like a bitch. <laughs> so, I trust Jonathan the most. He's been acting like a bitch recently and it hurts me a lot. I realized that each time he makes a move on my friends, he makes sure that I'm looking and it hurts a lot. He's the first guy that I've ever cried for. I don't know whether this is just a crush or I'm really in love. He's the reason I broke. Child! He's the reason. He's the reason I broke up with Dumelo. I thought it wasn't fair to be in a relationship with Dumelo with somebody that is in love with somebody else. Oh, oh my gosh, I feel really bad. And then they sleep. The hot guy in the Naruti's class. I love everything about that guy. He has pink lips. You know one thing about me? One thing about my younger self. I'm I love some pink lips. Okay? His personality and the fact that he's a soccer player. <laughs> Ooh, one thing about me. I love being a soccer player still. Each time he talks to me, I blush. And damn, he has a sexy voice. And his swag is on point and 
the next thing the thing is we never talk that much it's just a high bye kind of thing i've witnessed turn down a girl before and he was rude that time that's why i'm kind of scared of confessing my feelings the, this is the first time i've actually confessed this and it feels good bye bye yeah no i'm not gonna lie like i still remember how i felt when i was writing this entry and it felt like a burden has been lifted off my shoulders like wow My childhood trauma just came a rushing black chair. Dear journal, I think my relationship with Gawane is about to end or something. Luckily, God will protect it. And I really love him so bad. I may insert his say name sounds good, hey? Oh my god, I may. You were in a relationship with this guy for two days. Two days. I come back and I'm like, dear journal, well, I was wrong. God did not protect our relationship. Maybe it was just meant to be. Will I ever have a relationship that lasts for at least a week? <laughs> I said, I'm begging you for a relationship that lasts at least a week. At least a week. This specific entry makes me look like a stalker. And I don't know if I want to repeat this all over again. But you know what? I'm a changed woman, so I'm going to read it either way. Hey? So, dear journal, I recorded this on the 11th of April 2015 so like my crush on Steve has been there for the past three years there's nothing I could do now I thought I was gonna get a chance with him at a school trip but I'm not going hmm? life right this is a picture of him when we're in form one okay I got it from one of my friends purse I wonder where she got it by XOXO <laughs> This is exactly what I mean. There's a diary entry from the first, the 23rd of January 2015, and I'm like, so like, I think one of my classmates likes me. XT. Now, plot twist. Years later, the classmate and I find out that we're cousins. Because Gabs is too small. It is too small for this. Like, <laughs> what? Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I know you guys cringed as hard as I did because I cringed, okay? But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope to see you guys on my next 7 Days of Puppy video. And I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to comment a purple heart if you made it this far. And... Hi!